Let me... This stupid brick. You just made stupid noises for me, please take it. Thanks for me, hello. Hey guys, it's John here. Uh, now in this video, I'm going to try something substantially different from the normal halfway content. Much like Cartoon Network's live action shows or Chris Four's Air Gamer's ghost hunting series, I know that diversifying YouTube content can prove to be a lucrative endeavor. Basically, in the last couple months, Connor and I have gotten into a hobby called Warhammer 40k. There's a lot of depth to Warhammer, but essentially it's a real-time strategy game played in real life, with hand-built and painted armies. These red dudes here are called Blood Angels, and they're like perfect noble warriors for mankind, except they are all cursed with vampirism. They have this badass blood drop and wings motif going on, and I love it. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to paint one of the army's elite units, a blade guard veteran. Uh, keep in mind I'm still new to this, but the purpose here is to show you that it's not really hard to get a decent looking army on the table. Alright, so getting started. One of the first things you need, of course, is some entertainment. Alright, so before you start actually painting, I'm going to put down some paper, and then you need... Oh, what the fuck is it? Okay, here cup of water, this thing, which is a wet palette, and it, this is what you put your paint on when you paint. Paints, more paints, fuck I kind of got these everywhere, and last but not least, some brushes. I usually use, this is my best one, it's an army painter master class, this is what I use for like details. This thing is a fucked up brush. Wait, it's it looks like a fucking murder weapon, but it's a regiment brush and it's really fucked up so you can like get in all the detail and not have to worry about messing up a brush. And then I use some other just like different brushes like these for various like details and other stuff. But we're gonna use this first. So of course you need a model, which is this guy, and he's really detailed, and honestly, if you can't paint him, if this doesn't look really easy to you, then you probably should, like, not even, like, do painting, because, like, yeah, you're bad. I'm just kidding about that before, but, like, hold on, this isn't focusing. Okay, there he is. Alright, so, when you look at your little Warhammer, you know, the first thing you want to look at is the layers of the dude, right? So, he has, like, a little cloak underneath his armor. Uh, he has armor and then Im uh, like embossed and raised details more raised details here a little like rope this halo and raised bits of armor so you gotta look at and think of like strategically what you're gonna paint first because if you are bad at painting like me and you fuck up a bunch then you won't have to do as much work covering it up so what I'm going to do first, actually, is one of the low. it's actually not the lowest color, so I'm going to have to do some correction, but it's the most, uh, like, prevalent color along the guy, so I'm going to do that first. So that is, well, let me pull out my fucking paint here. It's this, it's my fist in red, my fist in your ass. Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, but anyways, guys. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, so you put on your palette like this, and the thing is with all these paints is they're really like, this one isn't that bad, but some of them are really thick. So what I do is I take a little tiny bit of water, and I mix it in. Because if you paint too thick with these little fuckers, little freaks, uh, it clogs up the detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of this, uh, I'm gonna center this in the camera, Mephiston Red, basically over the entire dude. I don't really care to be neat at all, because basically everything that's not this will be over it. The only part that's actually not is these little areas back here, they're gonna be black, and black covers over red really nicely, so I don't really care. He has like a little undersuit. But yeah, I'm gonna show you this guy when all the red's done. All right, so I did that first little coat of red and it looks okay. 
but in some areas, like in these in the back of his legs, the paint's kind of translucent. And so what you're supposed to do is use two thin coats of red. Uh, so I'm gonna go over the entire guy with a little more watered down red and get like a really nice, consistent uh, red coat. Also, I forgot to do this for some reason. I normally, when I'm painting, I use this thing. So check this out. This is freaking sick. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So now I hold this, I have to hold the base, and it gives you kind of like more, I don't know, control over him. Also, I forgot to mention, he has a shield, and look, so this little round thing, it, I'm gonna glue it on, but you know, it covers up a lot of the details, so it'll be really hard to paint. So I'm also gonna paint this separately, his uh, shield. So yeah, I'm gonna do a second thin coat of that red and get a really nice base color. Another thing I'd like to note, well, oh, fuck, whatever, is that when I'm getting paint out of these things, these horrible, fucking evil things, these paint pots, I usually get paint, so it's got this little lip, I usually get it from the back here. And I, that's how I put it onto my, my palette because if you look, it already is fucked up. Look, look at that. There's like dried bullshit in there. If you don't if you don't do it, look look what happens. This was this is my blue and it's just solid. It's just a brick. <laughs> this one's fucked up. Look at this. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you don't let paint dry in that seal and then your paint will dry. That's why I like this uh next color which I'm gonna use and that's Vallejo black and it comes in a nice bottle that'll never fucking dry out so you just boom and then look if you screw it on and you don't waste any paint and you don't have to spend nine dollars at a fucking gaming store so now that those uh, two coats are done also some of these areas are gonna be gold, like his helmet, so I didn't bother making those nice, but he's got a really nice look. You have not seen a red that's that's like this fucking awesome, like ever. <laughs> so yeah, I'm basically like the best painter ever, but like, anyway, uh, I'm gonna paint some more detailed shit, so I'm gonna stop using my fucked up Neanderthal brush. I'm gonna get, let's see. Uh, yeah, this will work, this is a layer games workshop citadel brush so i'm gonna take some of that same black make sure i have actually like a good point i don't even like thin this down because i don't even care honestly <laughs> well, i'm gonna i'm gonna basically do it's hard with the camera to be honest but these little joints here little joints Yeah, and all, there's some, I put a little asshole here. Yeah, and so I'm gonna finish up all these little undersuit details. Yeah, so using that, um, that black color, and I clean my brush off with some water, I'm gonna do a shield, and then I'm gonna do some more details on the dude. This is kinda awkward, because I don't really have any way to hold it. I'm not gonna like, drill a hole in it like some other tryhards on YouTube. I'm just gonna hold it. Look, look at this. Look at this black color. It's so good. Just goes right on there. Easy. Boom. Look at that. That's gonna need two coats, but look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, so I finished these little details and I was really messy with them because I'm <coughs> retarded. But um, yeah, so I do, I normally do thin coats with the black edited one because you know, the fucking Chad, one thick coat right here. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, but I basically have to now, I'm gonna use it, that same detail brush. I'm gonna take some, uh, some red and then sort of cut back into the places where I spilled over and make sure that I have nice, clean, uh, like blocked in. We're actually gonna use, um, black again for a few more details on him so for example this uh, 
chest eagle. And then actually his whole cloak underneath his armor is gonna also be that same color black. So the next thing, I'm gonna take some of this. This is a shade. It's called Agrax Earth Shade. I'm using a sort of big brush. I load it up with this and I basically, I'm so clumsy. I basically sort of just go crazy. And I get it in all the recesses on the guy. I don't really care about being too neat here. It's more important that I get it in these little recesses. Like his knee, these little vents here, <laughs> vents. <laughs> Yeah, that's like an Among Us reference for all you uh, gamers in the audience. I know we got lots of those. But yeah, so I'm going to just get even more of this on my brush. Make sure I get it just basically everywhere on the guy. I try not to let it pool in areas because then I get these like staining things here. And I'm going to have to go over those and fix them. But mostly just trying to get this shade into every single little area that can be brought out with some more detail like this. So now that that's fully shaded, you can see it pooled some, in some places, but I'll clean that up. Uh, you have to leave this to dry for a long time. I'd say like 30 minutes. Um, otherwise, it'll just smear at the paint and look like fucking dog water. So yeah, just let that dry. All right. So, now you can see the shading. This is really cool effect where all like the little details are shaded in. And then I'm gonna take some of this red right here. And then you can see it kind of like darkens some of the flat areas, which I don't wanna be shaded. Well, that's a little too much on there, whoops. Well, if I really put too much on there. Hold on. All right. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's a little too watery. Um, but basically, you want to brighten up the red with a really thin coat of red. And then avoid all the, like, shaded in areas. Like that. All right, so now that I've cleaned them up, I also did his shoulder pads in black because I forgot how you to do those. You can see he's kind of got this like cell shaded almost look, but all the little recesses are sort of shaded. And then now I'm gonna take some retributor armor for gold. I'm gonna paint a bunch of, uh, bunch of gold details on this little cringe creature baby thing so yeah uh, like I normally don't even thin this down because I like it to like cover in one coat and it doesn't really leave rough strokes so like the rim on the shoulder pads this helmet and I'll show you and that's all done all right next I'm gonna switch away from gold you can see all the uh, little gold details are colored in, including his like shoulder pads. But I also clean up the water because little gold leaves uh, gold flakes in the water. And when I want to do something that's not metallic, I don't want it to be shimmery. So next I'm going to use this Mornfang Brown. I have a little bit already on here. And then I use this uh, for his like belt here and his whole Sorry, his whole little holster for his uh, pistol and these little like pouches. That brown color like sucks. It took like uh, multiple coats to get it to look smooth. But basically now what I'm gonna do, that gold looks really shiny and I want it to be more of like bronze. So I'm gonna take this Agrax Earth Shade again. I'm gonna go over all the gold and brown again. 
or not again, but just for the first time with this and like make sure I really sort of dull it down with this. Give it this nice, a little too much, a nice like sort of weathered bronze effect. And then for the brown, it'll make it look really like, when this dries, it'll look like beat up leather, which will look really cool. So after that, uh, Agrax Earthshade, look at that. It's got this nice bronze sort of effect to all the gold. And it uh, gave it some nice shading. Next, I'm gonna take some lead belcher. And this is a like gunmetal. I'm gonna do some details on his backpack, his whole sword here, and some other little things like this cup of uh, graham crackers that he keeps on his uh, belt. So it's got that freaking sick metal uh, paint job on the backpack, his little Little like juice box holders and like yeah and like broken crayon holders on his <laughs> on his belt. Next I'm gonna take some Xandri dust and if you look he has these little scrolls on him. These are called purity seals and they write little poetry on them and they're actually really proud of it. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna paint all these little, uh, I think he only has one. But yeah, these purity seals on him will get a nice coat of Xandri dust. And now, um, and now I want to make this little tassel thing on his, on his shoulder here, white. And uh, painting white, just like straight up white onto this dark sort of red gold mess that I have here will never look good. So I'm gonna start with, you can't read that, Celestra Gray. <laughs> and this will form the, the um, base for the white that I'm gonna paint later. So that it looks really like clean and good. Now that that gray is Applied as a base coat, I'm going to use uh, Vallejo White. This one, this is a nice color. Much better than the Citadel one. The Citadel one's like got little chunks in it. And it's gross. So I'm going to use this white, then down a little bit, and then I'm going to go back over the gray that I did very carefully to get a nice bright white color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do multiple coats of this, but eventually it'll look really good. All right, so now that I've got that nice white tassel, and I've also sort of cleaned up around the edges. I also painted this little, this is supposed to be like a blood vial. These guys are blood angels. So they have this like teardrop blood motif going on. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe do like a little effect there and then on the blood drop on his shoulder with a darker red. This is a more like burgundy, it's called corn red. And so like halfway up the vial, I'm gonna do a little, oh, you can't see it, there you go. Half of the vial, I'm doing a effect like it's filled with blood, like that. And then also, this blood drop here is gonna be that same blood red along with this little tiny one here. All right, now that I've got that blood vial, and the teardrop painted. I'm gonna highlight it 
this um, Evil Sun Scarlet, which is a really, almost like a mix between red and orange. It's a really bright, bright red. I'm gonna just hit the bottom. Oh, messed up, got some on the wings, that's okay. And then this will give that blood drop some sort of definition and 3D effect. And then to finish off this effect, I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of white, do a little highlight on all three of these little details. And now they look like they're sort of glossy. Next, I'm gonna take some of this shade, this null oil. I spilled a whole um, bottle of this on my desk, so I have to get a new one. <laughs> and I'm gonna shade this rope here. I definitely want a black shade for this because anything else will stain the red, I mean the white. And then I'm also going to shade with the uh, non oil all the metal details. This the stuff I did with Lead Belcher. That'll really help, especially look like back here. Help these uh, vents and exhaust ports get some nice definition. Um, so now that that. Uh, no oil is like sort of dry. I'm actually gonna do something to tie the guy together because if you look, most of the details are sort of done where I would need to move my brush. So I'm actually gonna glue his his shield on. I've painted this using the same methods that I've painted the gold and the bronze and everything else. And so now I'm gonna finish up the uh, like edges of the shield in gold. I was holding it and uh, sort of clean it up a little bit, but because all the detail under it is done, now I can focus on making the shield look nice. So now that he's all put together with the shield, I'm gonna use Pink Horror for these seals, the like wax seals. I'm also gonna highlight them with a little bit of this white so that they look uh, like a different texture than the rest of them. All right, so now that all these little uh, seals are done, I'm gonna hit them with some more Egrex. All right, so now on this dude, most of the base colors are done, and it's time to, so I'm gonna move the camera back a little. It's time to highlight him, and for these Warhammer dudes, the way you highlight them is called edge highlighting and I'm going to use this really thin, nice pointy brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use multiple different colors to go around the edges of all the hard surfaces because with like the distance that you're viewing a Warhammer guy, it's like from two, maybe three feet away and if you want the details to really pop and look good. A rim of a lighter color typically does that. So my first color is Evil Sun Scarlet. And I'm gonna use this on the red armor. So yeah, I'm gonna thin this down a decent amount. Get a really thin uh, tip on the brush. And then I'm going to pick out a really nice, easy area to do this. So look, there's a big, nice, hard surface on his glove. I'm going to run the brush along these hard, flat surfaces. I'm turning the model so I can just kind of easily hit them. Sort of outline that glove with this lighter color. I'm gonna do that along as many of these flat surfaces as I can. All right, so I did that first highlight. 
you can cut, it's pretty subtle. And I also sort of did a flat highlight in some of the more uh, large areas. And then now I'm gonna use this Fire Dragon Bright or Extreme Highlight. Next, I'll do all the black with a highlight of Eshin Gray. The final thing is uh, the gold highlight with Liberator. All right, well, he's almost done. I did that nice gold highlight, a bright orange highlight. Oh, don't mind that, I'll clean that up later. You really see that. And finally, I'm gonna do his eyes with moot green and there's no way I'm doing this on camera because it's like really detailed. All right now to tie everything together, I'm hit him with this matte varnish and that really should be the last painting step on this little cringe creature. So for this last step, he's all varnished. I'm gonna redo his eyes because they look like fucking shit and I fucked up like four times on him but he's all sort of tied together with that varnish. I'm gonna do his base. I'm gonna try something new. I don't even know if it'll look good. I'm gonna try an ice base. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take some of this Agrell and Earth shit and what this does is when it dries it like forms this crackling surface. So I'm gonna put it on here like all along him. I'm using just a piece of plastic and then when this dries, I'm gonna paint it white and then wash it with blue. So that looks like there's little bits of water cracking beneath the ice. So now that that texture paint is cracked and dried, I want it to look like ice. So I'm gonna take more of my white paint, just go over the whole thing. I'm gonna try something kind of weird, which I haven't done before. So I'm gonna take his sword. I bought this new paint. It's called Contrast Warp Lightning. And I'm gonna do a sword in it. So I made it metal. I'm gonna see what happens if I cover it in this green. Ooh, that's very green. Hmm, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool though. If I thin it down a little, get some of that metallicness. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool, actually. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna stick with that. I also put some of that in his eyes, and in the eyes of the skull, to give it kind of this cool, glowing, like, energy effect. I think I actually ended up looking kind of cool. So I finished that uh, white coat on his face, and that cracked paint. I'm gonna try looking or making it look like there's water underneath using some blue wash called Draken Hoff Nightshade. And I mean, I'm experimenting here, but I think it'll, it might look kind of cool. I'm gonna have to probably go over it if it stains it blue too much, but oh yeah, that definitely makes it blue. But if I go over it again in white, it might end up looking kind of cool. Weird, all right, I'm gonna see how that looks when it's done. So I finished the uh, base, and what I did was I took a really tiny amount of white paint on a dry brush, and I essentially lightly dry brushed that base. And I also gave the whole guy a light white dry brush to kind of tie it all together into the snow. You see like on his legs, the bottom of his shield, and sort of all around him. And uh, as far as painting's going, he's like done. All I need to do is, uh, paint the rim of the base black and I'll show you a final look at him. So there he is, isn't he beautiful? Overall, I'm pretty happy with this result. The guy looks a little weathered and worn and I like how the gold turned out a lot. The base is kind of a fail though. It came out more gray than I would have liked and the blue wash didn't really give a water effect uh, under the ice that I wanted. 
In the future, I'll probably base him with fake snow like the rest of my army. Overall, I hope you guys like the change of pace and maybe you'll see some Warhammer stuff on the channel soon.